My dad gave me a very special gift. <laughs> Somewhere in my pocket here. Hey everyone, Rob from MTB Michigan. I am a pastor, mountain biker, and big guy. Today, I'm being chased by a bee. <laughs> I'm coming at you from Canada Creek Ranch, Michigan. And uh, this is where my parents live. This is actually their backyard. Um, they have a nice little view here, if you can't tell. And um, what I'm doing here today is I'm trying something new. I have always wanted to, well, let me go back. My father and I used to ride a lot of snowmobiles and uh, always enjoyed getting out and doing that and doing as many miles as possible. And one thing I've always wanted to do was go back and hit some of those trails on a bike. So I'm actually going to be doing the high country pathway today, a portion of it, and uh, getting a feel for it. What I want to ultimately get to is uh, bike packing. Um, which is one of the reasons I'm doing that whole fat pusher challenge and, and worrying about my health is I want to get to a position where I can try bike packing. So this is kind of my first foray into that as far as learning what the trails and, and, and back roads and things I'm going to be trying would be like. So I hope we're uh, in for an adventure. Well, my dad just dropped me off the high country pathway. So I am on my way. For an adventure. Now I've got years and years of memories of riding this with my dad on snowmobiles. My dad is uh, one heck of a guy. I love my parents to death. They are amazing people. <coughs> my dad is uh, an iron butt in motorcycles. He's done the coast to coast to coast ride, the four corners ride, and a bunch of other big rides that uh, us mere mortals would only dream of. But that instilled in me a little bit of a love for how we rode snowmobiles. And I could never find another, another partner to ride like my, my dad and I would ride. For my dad and I, snowmobile rides were started at 300 miles. So if we got a 300 mile ride in, that was a good ride. So this is, just kind of bringing back the memories of what we used to do back then. And uh, like I said, for me, I would love to tackle this route in particular in its entirety. We've done a number of miles of this on snowmobile. And with my dad living just outside of Atlanta, with my parents living there, um, you know, this is something that uh, I could hit. I'd like to be able to bike pack it, hit this, and then cross over to the, you know, it goes over towards Gaylord to the Shingle Mill Pathway. And my wife's family has a lot going on in Wolverine, which is just by Gaylord. And uh, then run that, there's a rail trail we could run that all the way to Mackinac City. So aside from all my free ride dreams, I still do want to ride some distances. And this is, uh, like I said, this is a manageable section. I don't know exactly, exactly how many miles I'm going to be doing today, but uh, it's going to be a minimum of, minimum of about 15. So we'll check it out and uh, kind of report back as we go along. 
One other cool thing. One other cool thing. My dad's got a GoPro and a 360 cam. So I'm actually trying those out today too. Good thing. Good thing I set the Strava in the Fitbit independently so I can get a, an idea. Actually, I think I missed a section of it on both of them. But uh, at the last road crossing. So what I did, oh well. So what my idea today was, is uh, starting at Clear Lake, in the Clear Lake State Park area, I'm riding from there, basically up along the east side of M33 North, and uh, I'll be checking the GPS periodically. I know I'll be coming up to the radio tower, and then ultimately, to the edge of Montmorency County. So we'll just see. See how things go. Now this according to the GP or the trail forks. Um the I'm not sure if I'm technically on the right trail. It looks like there was a single track trail in this area that I'm at. Um but it looks like it has not been maintained in at least at all this year. So my uh, thought is I know these back areas enough that I'm still in the same general vicinity um, that that would be, if that actually was a single track, I'm still pretty doggone close to it. And uh, just riding along on uh, on this fire road back trail here. Before we get into this descent, there's the radio tower on M33. This, for me, was always a symbol. Um, when you could see this tower, we were almost to where my parents live now. So, if you can see it. We're going a little slower today though, so there's, I don't know, there's a lot of deer track, a few elk track back here on this fire road. So we're coming into a bit of a descent. Which, outside of riding the, uh, the uh, Badlands at Island Lake, is about the most exciting sandy descent I've ever done on a fat bike. And you can see Gonna be followed by a sandy climb, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Maybe not. Now see if I was Pat Smodgy, I would be really cool and take my fat bike and trials hop all of that over there. But <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> So I can't. Doesn't mean I'm not going to try at a different point, but uh, it just means that today I'm on a different mission. And uh, I got to watch more of his videos and learn more of how to do that. Him, Danny McCaskill, and a few of those other guys. So I did discover that I 
what I thought that single track section that was uh, overgrown by where the sign where my thumbnail picture is uh, I believe that is the actual trail it's and this is I'm off of it by quite a bit I know where I'm at so I'm actually going to double back and see if I can find the single track One thing this is doing is definitely teaching me how to use the GPS while riding. Typically, don't do a lot of that. And I'm wondering, honestly wondering if we're going to be able to really ride this the actual trail at this point here just seeing how things are here Well, old man fat bike, I dedicate this one to you. For every ride you go on and video, always making me feel like it's an adventure. Now that I'm on an adventure, on my fat bike, yeah, this one's for you, bud. Well, after searching forever, couldn't find the connector back onto this portion of the trail. So, I'm taking this ORV trail. And all in all, this is an adventure that's really cool. But boy, what an exciting journey. I don't know if you can see him. I almost ran him over. He's, I don't know what kind of snake he is but he's there I'm just gonna leave him alone because I don't really like snakes that much but one of the girls in my church does so I had to stop and get the, hopefully I got him on video for her she's one of my kids that I call grandpa training and my dad gave me a very special gift <laughs> somewhere in my pocket here he handed me this rock and he told me put it in your left pocket so that way you always remember that M33 is to your left so putting it back in my left pocket dad so I'm on the entrance north entrance road to where my parents live and uh, they paved this road years ago I must have lost 30 pounds of flesh through different crashes on these two hills here going down or up there's a uh, 
a store back there that we used to always go to and get Slurpees. So we'd ride our bikes and this would all be gravel and sand. We'd come flying as fast as we could down these hills and subsequently crash our guts out. It was awesome. Then we'd go to the party store and the guys would put us back together and give us, get us Slurpees and away we'd go. Could be the lack of sand and gravel. Could be the fact that I'm riding on five inch tires. I don't know. And there we are, the old Elliott Homestead. Well, that wraps up my first ad attempt at adventure riding. Um, or, or I don't know, not, not necessarily bike packing at this point because I don't have any bike packs, but Getting a feel for what that kind of riding would be, that was a complete adventure. Um, as you see, I was on parts of the high country pathway and parts of different ORV trails and back roads and uh, it all made for really great adventure. I highly recommend that you take the time to try to do something like that because it was really, really cool. Just the things you see, the you know, you're, a lot of times you're riding cross country or you're riding trails and you're focused on those kind of things. But when you're just out looking and, and enjoying the scenery and everything, it, it's a whole different thing. So I highly recommend doing it. I am going to do more of the high country pathway, do more of, uh, like I said, I'm gonna, I, I have an idea in my head to do a several day trip. And um, uh, this really got me stoked to try that. So that's it um hope you enjoyed the video please like share subscribe and um hope to see you out on the trail live the faith ride it out see ya